Hawthorne Fan TV, we're here with Nick. Nick, um, what happened there? Oh, that, I'm outraged, to be honest. I mean, those two free kicks at such crucial times. I mean, the players don't clearly have their head around the 6-6-6 rules, but that one against Sicily, what was it for? Was it for abuse? I mean, they just what they were so busy watching him, and for the main umpire to bring the ball into the Bulldogs' goal square and to yeah. kick them levelling, it's honestly blatantly outrageous. I mean, the Bulldogs won a grand final pretty much yeah. on the back of umpiring, and the love affairs obviously continued. The free kick Hawthorne, that's a myth. Yeah. That is an absolute myth. It's free kick Bulldogs. What, just what happened in that last quarter? I never like to blame the umpires because it sounds really bad when other people do it, but... You know, when frees are paid at such crucial times like they were, like we were five goals up and the Bulldogs did really well to get themselves back into the game, but when it's 24 free kicks to 15, I mean, uh, it's going to have some effect on the game. It's umpires not having a read of the game. Yeah, uh, Sicily, they just watch him every week, as I was saying before. He's an easy target. I know, and the other teams know this, and they've got to, the Hawks have got to make sure that they keep wrapping their arms around him because he's such a special talent, but he needs to make sure he can calm down when, when the game's in the head of the moment because um, it's just cost us a match. What did you make of that last quarter? Five goals up at three-quarter time. Yeah. Third quarter was great to watch. Yeah, the third, yeah. What happened in that last quarter? Well, I thought our first and third quarters were excellent. Uh, the second quarter was really bad. We kept turning the ball over and weren't playing well enough in the th wet conditions. But we missed three shots on goal in the last quarter when we were five goals up. And then Omira got a, um, a free kick taken off us. So it, went, it would have been a set shot. So honestly, that was quite upsetting to watch because literally we're just watching the game being taken away from us, you know, right in front of us. Yeah. And then for those two free kicks to be played at such crucial times, it's just appalling. Appalling, to be it's, honest. It's, yeah. it's, it's frustrating. I mean, that third quarter was great to watch. We were moving the ball. You know, Henderson was probably our best today. Yeah. O'Meara was great. Henderson Warple was, was great. McAvoy took some marks. But that just last quarter was just... I, I'm, I'm speechless, pretty much. I think we're really lacking a dynamic tall forward. Yeah. Um, Connor Nash is there purely for his height. I really don't feel like he should be in the team anymore. I can't, he's really he's learning the game at AFL level, and that's not on it. He should he should be sent back to the reserves to really learn more of his craft. I think he's got a, a lot of talent, but he's just there for his height and to take a key defender. I, as much as I might be back to saying this, I think Sean Makers might need to come in next week. Or do we bring Mitch Lewis in and just yeah. give him a run of games? Or Mitch Lewis, someone who can mark and kick and yeah. just knows has been playing the game. I mean, it's a real project player coming through Nash. I just don't think he's ready yet. North Melbourne next week, back here at the MCG, another Sunday game. Don't get me started on our Sunday games in the first 10 rounds. North Melbourne again lost today. What do we reckon? Well, we'll be fired up after that. I was kind of thinking that in that last quarter we were just going to roll through, but we probably did do that, but we got run over the top of. So uh, we'll be fired up, and we're going to have to be at our best because North Melbourne actually looked okay today from what I saw. Um, got bent about a pretty good Brisbane side uh, that he had. So, look, I'm so disappointed by that result. We really need to bounce back. Nick, thank you very much. Great to see you, Arad. Welcome back.